I love you. I know. <laughs> I don't remember that actual. Uh, no, I think I was like that. Yeah. So, so Star Wars has invaded every part of our lives, even the kitchen. Yes, this this one is in my kitchen. Your kitchen? Uh huh. Does it make toast? It I does. Mean, oh, cool! With the Star Wars logo oh, yeah. and everything, and then you can pull it out with the. Space slug oven mitt, <laughs> and that. then spread some Danish uh, Clone Wars jam. Delicious. Uh, and uh, use some pancake. Well, they actually sort of stick uh. to it. You can use the. Um, the <laughs> but my favorite is this new piece, and it's the X Wing knife block. And these are real knives. Mm. And why do I feel like I'm redoing a scene <laughs> from Psycho? But these are extraordinarily cool and. Um, and not that expensive for what it is. Yeah, that's what that's what's gonna be used on me if I take anything out of here, right? Well, we do have um, various means, yes. Oh, I uh, probably shouldn't try that, huh? No, no. I don't think so. No. I love plush, and here I will apologize in advance for anyone who has seen or has heard of the Star Wars Holiday Special, of which I had nothing to do with, but up there from Amy Schoberg in Seattle, we have Chewbacca's family in plush. We have Chewie, uh, on on the right is Itchy, his dad, uh, Lumpy, his son, and over there is Mala, his wife. Oh. That's so, so touching. <laughs> well, history has repeated itself in Star Wars. We all know what happened to Harrison Ford on the set of The Force Awakens. And of course, it did not take long for a fan to make a Harrison <laughs> Ford in a cast card. Um, but actually, this is an original cast, and this was on the leg of Paul Weston, who was a stuntman who worked on Jedi, came over to the U.S. where they changed the name to Blue Harvest, Hard right. Beyond's Imagination to keep the fans and the media away. And Paul was the guy in the alien costume on the sail skiff, and he was the first guy to go into the Sarlacc when Luke got his lightsaber back. He did it perfectly. He's a, you know, well-prepared stuntman. And then the director, of course, says, you know, let's do that from a slightly different angle. So he gets back up there. In the meantime, somebody had accidentally kicked over a coil of rope. He didn't see it. He stepped in it with his foot. And when it was time for him to go over the side, it held. And he smashed his leg in a bunch of places. And so he kept the cast for all these years because scoreboard sarlacc one stuntman five get well mark <laughs> hamill what and give up show business your loving nurse day shift carrie fisher <laughs> somebody wrote plastered again hope your breaks uh, next break's a good one uh somebody drew uh, yoda and the sarlacc and kenny baker r2d2 wrote break a leg <laughs> We've got a Bantha from the Red Wagon Parade in Jacksonville, Florida, built by 501st members. And indeed, there is a Red Wagon underneath, and we see the fierce Tuscan Raider. And what is he reading? The Little Lost Bantha Cub. How cool is that? <laughs> you know there's the phrase, thank the maker, that comes when 3PO finally takes an oil bath in Luke's garage. And um, fans have used it to mean thank George Lucas, and now the Japanese have used it to sell Nescafe Gold Barista coffee pots. So we have the Thank the Maker Light Side coffee pot <laughs> with your Rebel uh, sigil and the uh, Light Side lightsaber. And of course, <laughs> then we need the Dark Side, the Forces Strong with this one, with your <laughs> Imperial Cog and of course, Darth Vader's lightsaber. That's would really you like neat. a cup? I would. Okay. I would. Enjoy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and I will use this to point to the lunch boxes. The lunch boxes. Awesome. This is a fairly recent one, but it's the famous Tom Jung original painting. This is the first lunch box, and we have Luke and Leia on the side, and still have the <gasps> original Roughneck oh. mug inside. Oh. Wow. And down here is another one of my favorite pieces because for many years, the only three-dimensional Death Star that you could buy is this Disco Death Star British Pencil Sharpener. <laughs> How bizarre. Disco Death Star. Disco Death Star. Of course. Oh, definitely. <laughs> This is some of my favorite stuff here. Well, Ralph McQuarrie actually based the look of the helmet and the mask of Darth Vader off of a samurai. And so here we come full circle with the oldest doll company in Japan, more than 300 years old, 11th generation of the same family, and their very first licensed piece 
was this Darth Vader samurai, one quarter, one third scale, made of 900 separate pieces, hand assembled, and the shoji screen in the background is Mustafar. And it's oh. just this amazing piece and a great mashup of two cultures. They followed up with just the head and the helmet and the neck piece of the stormtrooper in the ceremonial box. And their most recent piece was the first full figure role, Darth Vader, um, Samurai Shogun. Uh, and if you're very brave or very foolish, you can actually use this as a tax deduction, as an office expense, <laughs> because it's your letter opener holder. Oh. I wouldn't try it. <laughs> So I have the Incredible Hulk here on the shelf because I couldn't find a baby doll big enough to be able to show off my incredible Darth Vader diaper with cape. <laughs> <laughs> Every kid needs one. Yes. Or we can go with Boba Fett or Yoda if you're on the light side, but I think the Vader probably works best. I think so.